uh, Sandbox co-founder Sebastian Borgut says the metaverse sector is thriving in Hong Kong, Korea, and Japan. Uh, the metaverse might feel like it's dead for users living in the United States, but the industry is thriving throughout Asia, says the Sandbox co-founder and COO Sebastian Borgat. Since and speaking to Cointelegraph at the Asian Blockchain Gaming Alliance's Web3 Center in Singapore on September 12th, Borget said that over the last year, roughly 50% of Sandbox's business has come from several countries in Asia. If you don't focus on Asia, you will think the metaverse is dead from the North American and the Western side, said Borget. Meanwhile, Borget noted that he is seen to announce the launch of Lion City on stage at Token 2049 in Singapore a new neighborhood of 512 virtual land plots in the sandbox metaverse that aims to showcase Singapore's culture through a partnership with a number of global brands. And Borget Al detailed how the sandbox had just closed a major virtual land sale in Turkey where the metaverse has what he described as a big ecosystem. The sandbox ecosystem has grown to well over 400 brands, 700 partners around the world and 200 verified agencies that are building on Sandbox, he added. And the MTS Sloan So Insight uh, by the same major industry immediately did that. And what we can see is no longer about more separate to fight everywhere. And the sense of optimism, the first notable development was the introduction of dynamic NFTs, which allow the creators to alter the metadata and change the appearance and features of a given asset. And I mentioned about it, Jogan, there's like a former black tested feed up organ. It's, you know, at the bull shore, and especially when I was up on the 20th state to a former bull infinite, um, has been used by Pete Sampras before or after. Borget jested. <laughs> Additionally, uh, Borget noted the release of Apple's augmented reality vision pro headset as a major step forward for the metaverse industry with the extended reality features allowing for digital assets and physical environments to look just as real as real ones. Uh, this leads to digital assets becoming even closer to you. Um, so instead of just sitting in a wallet that you have to uh, open in a certain browser or application uh, page, but in your surrounding environment, Borgit, explain. Uh, but ultimately, Borget concluded that there's no right or wrong way uh, for the metaverse sector to foster widespread Web3 uh, adoption. Uh, there's a good position of uh, uh, the traditional gaming industry that believes Web3 adoption will only come if you provide games that provide the same level of quality as Web2 games where blockchain is a feature. And, and while Borgit admitted that might be a strong use case for many gaming companies in the space, he noted that metaverses like the Sandbox help create new experiences for users that differ from the world of traditional gaming. Research uh, Asia Express, uh, Tencent's AI Leviathan, $83 million, scam busted, China's influencer ban, uh, 